hello guys in today's tutorial i'm gonna show you how to calculate intercept and slope for a straight line in microsoft excel right over here you can see we have some data representing x values and y values it must be noted that x is always an independent variable y y is a dependent variable and slope is actually the rise over run let me show you what is meant by slope right over here you can see we have a graph representing a straight line so what is the slope as i have told you it is actually a rise over run and you can simply calculate it by putting y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 let me illustrate it you can see right in front of 2 2 is actually on x-axis we have the value of y as 20 let's put the value of y1 as 20 and the value of y2 as 40 and similarly we can put 4 and 2 in place of x1 and x2 and dividing it we would get 10 so this 10 is actually the slope of this particular line so let's calculate it over here using slope function you can simply put is equal slope and uh, over here you can see the description is asking us to put in known y's these are the y's value put in comma and uh, let's highlight as per a description the y values close the bracket enter and there we have our slope and similarly we can calculate the intercept intercept usually it is called y intercept is the point where a line intersect the y-axis on a Cartesian coordinate system it represents the value of the dependent variable when the independent variable is equal to zero right over here when the value of x-axis is 2 then the value of y is 20 and when the value of when the value on the x-axis is 1 the value of y is 10 and similarly if you make the value on x-axis to be 0 then the y-axis is going to be 0 this means we don't have any intercept in this particular case if the value of x is equal to 0 and y have some value let's say it is having a value of 5 then this 5 would be called as intercept or commonly known as y-intercept let me show you how it is calculated so I'll put is equal intercept and again it's asking us known y's so these are our y's comma these are our known x close the bracket and enter and there we have our intercept value now using these slope and intercept we can write the equation of the straight line equation of the straight line is always written as y is equal to mx plus b so we can write the equation of the straight line for this particular data like this y is equal to m is actually representing the slope so the slope over here we have 2.62 x plus anything beyond plus actually it represents the intercept and the value of intercept in our case is 1.86 i'm rounding it off so this is our equation of the straight line now let me show you how we can do it in excel without doing all these calculations one by one let's select the data like this go to insert and here in the chart section we have insert scatter chart let me insert this scatter chart with smooth lines and markers and there we are click over it and go to chart design and add chart elements you can see we have this trend line option click on linear there you can see this dotted line actually represent the trend line now if you click on the chart and go to add chart elements and at the bottom in the trend line you can go to more trend line options and on this side you can see we have this trend line options enabled now at the bottom and if you click on display equation on the chart and there you go you can see it has actually inserted the equation of the line right on our graph and it is actually the same as we have found out using these steps of slope and intercept and similarly again you can go to more trend line options and right at the bottom you can see we have r square value it is actually right over here r square value actually shows the correlation between x and y value if the value of r square is close to one it means there exists a strong correlation between x and y and if it is tending towards zero this means there doesn't exist any relationship between x and y value 
And there you can see the equation of the straight line right on your graph as well as the R square value in just a few and easy steps. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.